Great ideas often come from small beginnings. Greg Marionette says his ideas for a famous flying contest began with this book. I read The Spirit of St. Louis, and within a year I was taking flying lessons. I was one of those kids that would spend all the money I would make pushing lawnmowers and doing various other odd jobs to pay for an hour of dual instruction in a, in a plane. The Spirit of St. Louis tells the story of Charles Lindbergh, who in 1927 became the world's first person to fly nonstop from New York to Paris. He made it. Charles A. Lindbergh landed at Le Bourget Airport, Paris. New York welcomed Lindbergh home with the largest ticker tape parade in the city's history. St. Louis businessmen funded the flight, and Lindbergh named his plane the Spirit of St. Louis. The historic feat opened the door to modern aviation. Within a year, the number of pilots in America triples, the number of airplanes quadruples, and the number of people buying tickets to go on commercial flights goes up 30 times. In the early 1990s, Marionac gave the spirit of St. Louis to his friend, Intel entrepreneur Peter Diamandis. It inspired them to start a competition to move beyond government spaceships, which launched straight up, burning lots of costly fuel and parts. Everybody knew, quote unquote, that only NASA and the Russians, at the time we announced the prize, could could send people to space. We knew that wasn't true. In fact, we'd been stymied by people's belief that only governments could do this. To raise money, Marionac chose the city with the famous arch, the city that had backed Charles Lindbergh. It is at this arch that in 1996, Diamandis announced the X Prize competition. And this $10 million award will be going to the winner, which is the first team to do the following. To privately build a spaceship, and privately finance that ship, a ship that's able to fly to 100 kilometers altitude, carry three individuals, and do that twice inside of two weeks. In 2004, the prize went to an airplane that saved on fuel and parts by carrying a smaller plane called Spaceship One very high up. Spaceship One would then zoom the final distance into space. Since then, XPRIZE competitions have kick-started innovations for more fuel-efficient cars, oil spill cleanups, and robots destined for the moon. As for what's next, Marionac says ideas are everywhere. There's nothing special in the water in places like Silicon Valley or even St. Louis that makes entrepreneurship possible. I think it has to do with the spirit of the community. Spaceship One and the spirit of St. Louis are displayed side by side at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, both testaments to the St. Louis spirit of innovation. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender.